Welcome back to this Let's Play of King's Bounty Warriors of the North. Uh, so we're still in the Thieves' Den, and now I've gotten our army back up to full strength. So hopefully we can crush this guy. Still says very strong, so that's not too bad. And to really put things to our advantage, we'll drink gulp of one of these. And then we'll go get him. Um, let's see here. Oh, do we have anything to sell? Let's see if he sells us anything useful real quick. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, now I'll kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I already talked to this guy. We don't negotiate, though. And now we'll kill him in theory. Let's see. 944. Four. So he's a lot weaker than us. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. I think our army was just kind of pathetic last time. The question now is, do I save up for Lords of the North? Or just use Gudritas at 62. That's pretty expensive. I should just Gudritas on... Uh, uh, let's just do these guys. Get a few free sh free shots in. And then... Uh, how much movement does this guy have? Uh, speed 2. Well, good enough. I mostly don't want to... If I can ungroup them a little bit because I don't know what spells this guy is going to have. With a four intellect, I wouldn't expect a lot, but you never know. Hey, level seven. All right, nice. Um, we're not going to be able to get to, up to attack anybody this turn. I might as well just go up and loot the treasure. Sure. Look at that, Tomard. Um... Uh, I'm trying to think, so I'm probably going to do Call of Nature here. But should I do it yet? Um, I guess after this, these two uh, Marauder units go. So we'll just wait, see what they do. Because there's a good chance when they go, he'll do a spell. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, that wasn't going to do anything. Perfect. If he does like a blind or something, it could be better to just spell it. But he did not, so... We'll get these snakes down, and, uh... I'm say, can I reach any of these guys? How fast are these peasants? They're only a speed two. I guess they're actually not that strong. Let's just set you on fire. What do you think of that? And poison you. Bam. These guys can just move up. I was, like, I was hoping they were going to just hit the snakes because, you know, that's nice. But no. Probably take a few losses here and that's okay. Um, mm, so I do have the ability to read his rage again against these guys. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I do have the ability Ability to cast another spell. The question is, what? I could cast the haste one, I suppose. That wouldn't hurt us. Let's see. Um, plus two speed to everybody. Let's do that, actually. That's always a useful one. Keep zapping that poor guy. Oh, he could get on top of these guys, huh? Let's do that, because the snakes are kind of a throwaway unit, so I don't care. Putting them here potentially distracts, yeah, units. Did my, did my archers alone? Oh, fuck. Right, well, like this guy, maybe he'll turn around to go after the snakes? Ah, perfect. That's what we want. Snakes got, yeah, 64 health. I was going to say, their health is pretty strong. Oh, you know what? I don't think there's any way for him to stand here and do the attack there. That's what I'd like him to do, this uh, circle attack and hit both of them, but I don't think... Like if I do here, he's gonna... He should just hit these two, yeah. Uh, upon all enemies standing in the neighboring cells. Let's just try it, because it really costs us nothing. I don't think it should hit this guy. It should only hit these two hexes, if I remember correctly. 
Oh, I remember incorrectly. I don't know what what's the arc on that then? It just says neighboring cells, but that's obviously not true, because the neighboring cells would be these two. So maybe they mean neighboring to him. Does he hit all all of them around him? It is a circle attack, so maybe it does. I don't remember. It's been a been a bit. But that's that's excellent. Uh I was gonna say, should I do a fire shield on my snakes, maybe? But mostly just gives them resistance to fire. It does damage people that hit him, but uh let's just keep hitting these guys. I don't know if there's a good time to use that ability, the fire uh, shield ability. I guess if the enemy was throwing a lot of fire, I suppose. Okay, he's just doing a heal. That's fine. Oh, wow. He can get all the way up there to get on top of this guy, huh? Oh, or he could practically one-shot these peasants. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Crit just destroyed him. Okay, well, that'll, that'll solve a large problem. Oh, I think we've pretty much won now. Uh, yeah, they don't really have much left. I guess I'll just build his arrows. Not really much I need to do here. We've got them now. And with our speed bonus, there's no... No way for them really to get out of this. Um, oh, I guess I'll do his ability. Oh, I can... Uh... I guess I could Gudrita's Rage on this guy, even though it's kind of a waste. It does just kill him. Let's just kill him. This guy's going to hit somebody valuable, unfortunately. There's not much I can do. I can't kill 129 guys, though. So he's just going to probably hurt some bowmen, I'm guessing. Well, I guess we got a crit, maybe not. Oh, well, I did get a crit. Didn't kill them all, but that'll, uh, that'll weaken them up. Oh, they're pretty much dead now. Okay. Uh, guess it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't really matter now. Whatever. Last couple of units have no chance. Punch the rest of them to death. I don't think our losses were too bad. Yeah, a few archers, a few swordsmen. That's not bad at all. Um. Perfect, because that's the units we have, you know, reserves of. Oh, you can still buy from here. A lot of times, once you kill somebody, you can't you can't go back and buy. But I guess so. Um. Oh yeah, return the stolen drugs. So we we got them. I was gonna say, did we get the drugs? But I guess we did. Okay. Um. And also, it's been uh, been busy at my job. I can't. I haven't gotten to play this for a little while. I cannot remember. Did we get everything? I think we already went through here and got everything. We could get these friendly troops, but I don't need those. I think we can leave. Yeah, it looks like we must have already done a successful job of grabbing everything earlier. Let's go out and see if I can remember where... Uh, what is his name? Packerat or something? I want to say Paracary every time, even though, you know, that's the from uh, one of the Paper Marios, <laughs> but uh, that's what I want to say every time. Uh, see, in the main area, actually, looking at our map here, I guess the only area we haven't done yet is this area right here, and this luxurious frigate is probably the thing that the, uh, what was his name, the regent wanted us to get. Uh, let's see. Guile Ford. Even his name sounds sketchy. I don't trust that guy one bit. Maybe I'm wrong, but he seems sketchy. Yes, yeah, so we haven't done over here yet. Let's see. Oh, we could beat you easily. I guess we could wander around over here, because they're both... Well, one's weak. Okay, let's fight the weak one. Maybe we can get our rage up and use that on the next one. Uh, how many? No. The... Oh, oh. Looking in the wrong spot. There we go. 25 beholders. Alright. Um. 
I don't think I ever don't use Fighting Trance. It seems like it's just too good. Because the Devilfish, we should just be able to kill them. I mean, there's a lot of them, I suppose, but... Uh... Lob a Fireball? Eh, yeah, let's just lob that at him. And... Could I kill the Behold? Let's do so then. That's their only range unit right in his eye. Perfect. Move forward. Can I... Uh, I should have already done that. I was going to say I could probably have used a rage, to, rage ability. I just realized. Shoot, that was a mistake. Oh. Mistakes were made. I'm going to lose a bunch of swordsmen now because of my mistakes. But, you know. Uh, I could use Gudritas in just a moment. I guess I should just wait a moment and use that. Um... Question is, which stack do I want to hit? Uh, let's hit this stack over here. These guys are going to take a little bit of time to get to us. They're already in our face. And I don't think I want to use my mana. I don't want to use any more rage. Just try to build it up a little bit. Oh, I can't reach anybody. Let's have him wait. In case these guys do get close enough for the knights to attack. Oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I, uh... He must have lost self-control. What did he get? Beer. Oh, wow. But getting bit by the devil fish increases their crit chance by 40%. Oh, wow. That's nice. Oh, but because of the fright. Yeah, they're afraid. Oh, well. Stay back. Ooh. Ouch. Lost two pyromages. Really? Okay, that's that's unfortunate. I didn't think they were gonna have the speed to get to me there. Oh well. Just a tactical error, I suppose. I mean, I am getting to the point I kinda of would like to replace the pyromages, I feel like. I don't know. I kinda of don't I don't know. Both the mages I feel kinda of eh about. Like I said, I really like paladins. Maybe the mages are fine. Maybe it's better to replace the swordsman with paladins and leave everything else the same. It's hard to know. It might be worth it to just go back and get... Uh... I like how that guy just walked up so he could take a loss. But, um... Uh, oh, you yeah, know, we don't want to attack you. I, uh... I wonder if it's worthwhile to just go back and get my Barbarian, my Viking units, back. I don't know, though. Because I'm using these, but it looks like maybe I can get a boat at the that last section we haven't been to yet. So maybe it's worthwhile to do that. Uh, Gudritas. Sure. And get a boat, because I could go back and just get our old army and completely abandon this army if I wanted to. Admittedly, I think I like my old army better. They were higher level, though, I suppose. Dude, this army's starting to get up there on level, though. That's the thing. It's just a lot of money to invest to rebuy, you know, to effectively just delete this army and buy a whole new one. That's not, you know, that's not cheap. Alright, let's put down... Snakes and lob a fireball at you. Burn, baby burn. Oh, nice. Level six. That's what I was saying. These guys are starting to get up there on level. Um I kill you? Ooh, maybe. Right in the eye, yes. Um I guess just have him go around the edge here. This thing blocks the archmages quite nicely.
Good shape. The devilfish have a good uh, initiative, unfortunately, so they'll get to go here. Hopefully they'll all attack the snakes. Would be the hope. Or, oh, that's nice, he blocked his own guy in. Oh, we killed him though. Dang, I was hoping he was going to take all the hits from the devilfish. At least he blocked his own guy and slow, slowed him down a little bit. Yeah, he does. He was not able to uh, get to our guy there. Let's blast these devil fish with this. Um, that'd be a good circle attack spot, huh? Speaking of, I should uh, haste everybody. I planned a circle attack there. Maybe I should hit these hyenas because they're gonna go next and hit somebody pretty good. Oh, no? He just three. I wonder if they got shocked. Oh, yeah, they did. Hyenas are shocked. Okay, so they lost some action points. I suppose that worked out nicely. Let's circle attack here. It should like. If it does a circle, it should just smash. Oh, yes. That's a, that's some value right there. All right, well, we'll just start blasting these. Let's slow him so he cannot uh, attack anybody but the knights, probably. They're knights, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, we can just kill them, actually. Never mind. Yeah, it's only the hyenas left, and they're not going to go first. So, they're going to go second, though. Oh, I got 69 rage. Uh... I could do this because it potentially puts down a. a wall around the hyenas so they can't do anything, let's see. Eh, kinda. Doesn't exactly, though. Hoping to get one there, I can block him. <laughs> He's still gonna attack our back guys, unfortunately, that means. Once you're right in that snout. Oh, you're dead, though. Of course, he can't control where that went there, so... Well, I guess maybe I could have ice-walled, but... Eh. I don't know. Maybe that would have been a, a good uh, spot to use the ice-wall ability, which I don't know. Like, I never use that. Oh, yeah, there's just a free ship sitting here. Okay, so I could use... Let me see. Yeah, so I could use this to go back. Home and get our... The troops we want. Huh. That's a tough one, then. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Huh. Well, let's talk to this guy. Oh, Bill Gilbert has returned. Now we'll see some real action. Here's just the man to show those mortuary bastards what's what. The old man carefully peers into your face, the smile slowly slipping from his face. Wait a minute, you're not Bill Gilbert. But you are very much like him, I, I think so at least. Ah, old age is no joke. Soon I won't be able to tell Pike from a birch. Though actually, they are very much alike. Uh, you know Bill Gilbert, old man. Katano. Katano the fisherman is my name, and yes, I knew Bill Gilbert in the old days. Tell me, what was he like? Sturdy, broad-shouldered, just like you. I'm confused why you should be so like him. And a simple man, not a proud dandy peacock. Even though he was the royal treasure seeker, as down to earth as you could wish. And he helped me a little. And later, he became Bill the Hero of Endoria. The old man blows his no nose noisily. Yes, the soldiers of today are truly no match for Bill Gilbert. If he were with us, he would never have allowed the undead to go walking around in broad daylight, attacking innocent civilians. The village has been destroyed. The port burned down and the royal frigate has been stolen. Now, when old King Mark and Bill Gilbert were around, things were definitely different. Uh, I promised to stop the undead that have taken over Greenward, old man. Olaf of Nor Nordling. Remember the name. Aha, now see here, Olaf. You're, the fir you're not the first to attempt to match the glory of Bill Gilbert. No one has yet managed to equal his achievement. I don't really need to buy his boat. Apparently, I could just steal it. 
Tell me a bit about yourself, Gatano. You're a seasoned fisherman. Probably visited many places, seen different sights. Aha, Olaf, you're right. I'm quite a famous sailor in these parts, respected throughout all the lands I've visited in, in Andoria. I am. I can read the sea like a book. There's no place more beautiful than the Freedom Islands. White sands, blue sea, barrels of rum, and no bosses. Paradise, pure and simple, and no laws, so you can be killed at a moment's notice. Where is this island? Many times I've heard a tale of its virtue, but no one will tell me how to find it. Well, Olaf, that's easily remedied. In years past, I would have taken you there myself, but it's not a short distance, and my health... Well, it's not what it used to be. Actually, I have a map of the islands, and I'm prepared to give it to you. I must say I've taken rather a shine to you. So here it is. Take it, it's yours. Oh, thank you. Katano gives you a tattered old map, of which, though difficult to read... You can discern the outlines of the seas of Andoria. The inscription reads, Freedom Island. Well, Katano, you've done me a great service. Thank you. I shall set off immediately. Okay, well, that's useful. Can you take me somewhere? Oh, Olaf, if I were only ten years younger, I'd take you wherever you liked. But I can take you to Arlania, if you wish, for only 3,000 gold. But bear in mind that you have to find your own way back. Uh, why so much? Well, I'm not going to. You're going senile. <laughs> why so angry? If it's too expensive for you, just say so. There's no need to go calling people names. <laughs> uh, what do you have to sell first? Uh, plus one to plus five to attack of Vikings levels one through three. Huh. Did I lose any of those? No, I don't think he has anything I want. Ah. Oh, we already had the map to the Western Freedom Islands. Okay, so I guess we got a uh, Wanderer Scroll instead. That works. Do we already have that map? Remember. Oh, yeah. I guess we did. Oh, that's right. I thought maybe I should have gone to them before I came over here, but I didn't know which area was important to go to first. So just, you know. And I didn't expect us to get dropped over here either. Uh, tell me more about Bill Gilbert. Oh. Oh, okay, we already we already read that. He said the same thing again. Okay, well, goodbye. Oh, these are friendly troops. Really? I have, because I have thought about placing one of my armies with these guys. The Inquisitors, because they have the resurrection ability also. Huh. Got any treasures out here? Oh, yep, there's some there. All right, nice unguarded treasures, a magic rune, lovely, lovely. Uh, let me go get that bag there. Negation spell, huh? Huh. All right. Uh, I could attack this guy. He's weak, so let's just go kill him. Um. Let's see what kind of army do you have? Mostly melee. That random group of archers there. We can just probably nuke them down pretty quick, yeah. Fireball. I guess the nice thing about this one is it a lot of times sets people on fire, which, you know, is nice. Um... Maybe we can kill you? Oh, 41. Alright, well, we won't we won't do anything else then. Why don't we haste? Because, yeah, then he can get on top of this guy and slam him. Very nice. Oh, and level up, apparently. Oh, getting set on fire, though, even though there's only one of them. Like, wham! Oh, I guess I should have grabbed that treasure chest. Shoot, that's a costly treasure chest. Of course, I could replace these guys with inquisitors. I don't know if we've seen anywhere to buy inquisitors is the problem. I feel like 
Uh, food readers? That is a nice ability because it doesn't hit your friendlies either, so you can just kind of spam it wherever. Oh my gosh, just start blasting whoever. I'm really gonna have to think about if we want to replace our armies or not, though. Yeah, circle attacks are very nice. Mm. Well, I don't want you to throw any more arrows out, like freezing ones, for instance. Because these guys are already gonna take a bunch of damage, even though one fire arrow got shot at them. Let's see. Yeah, look, I lost, lost a whole guy, even though one arrow got fired at us. That shouldn't have done that much damage, probably. It's fine that we've we've won. We'll just do some uh, cleaning up operations here and grab some treasure. Song of the Wind. We got a Wanderer Scroll. Wow. I didn't expect to get a Wanderer Scroll out of a, a random chest like that. That's the thing, if we got some Inquisitors, then at the end of battles like this one, we can just uh, boost our, uh, you know, potentially resurrect a group that took some hits and get a perfect out of it. So, a plus side, we've leveled up. And let's see. Um... Magic skills are in pretty good shape. I mean, eventually we'd like to order magic. But that's, yeah, that's super expensive. We get tactics. Um. Hmm. Icy Rage seemed like it was nice, right? Chance of critical, of critical hits with rage skills. Heroes rage skills get frozen. I, the way they word it is weird, but I think it puts the chill, like the frozen effect, on your enemies when you use the rage skill, from what I've noticed, which is pretty nice. Field of Rage. That's the one that makes you lose stuff. Oh, can I get... Oh, increases damage inflicted by critical hits. Um... Bloodlust, maximum rage, and rage can't fall lower. I kind of want both of these. So let's just wait, I suppose. What is this? Oh, it's the medicine bag we found. For the doctor, that's right. Okay. Because this is the... Yeah, this is the frigate here. Oh. Um... Uh. Going to find it. Oh. Empty eyes. He's going to attack us, I suppose. Probably a good time to fight him, though, actually, because we're high on rage. We're not high, but pretty good. Ah, whom do I see? Sir, please allow me to say what a sincere pleasure it is to meet you. After all, you're practically my spiritual mentor. Ha <laughs> ha. The man who first ignited my dream of taking to the high seas and helped turn that dream into reality. Poor guy, now I'm going to kill him. Empty eyes, tell me, did you manage to realize your dream? I say all off now that I am Captain Empty Eyes. Just consider what wonderful things we have accomplished. First, we took a little trip around your savage islands and then tried our luck on history. But the pirates didn't take to us, so we moved on. But now, at long last, we're finally free. Yes, this is what I dreamed of my entire pre-afterlife. And now the dream has finally come true, or come to pass. Thanks to you, Monsieur. A beautiful ship you have there, Empty Eyes. Ah yes, it's magnificent. We spirited the ship away from the harbor at Greenwort, right from under the noses of the guards. They could only stare after us. Their mouths agape. I see. Well, I'm here because of this ship. It has to be returned to its rightful owner. 
Oh, mon dieu, what shall we do? It pains me to say it, but I prefer this ship. It's no mere ship. It's a veritable fairy tale. But I am still indebted to you, after all. If it were not for you, my bones would still be lying on that inhospitable shore. Very well, then, take her. You take the ship, and the boys and I, with your great... Uh, with your gracious permission, shall take your tub. Ah, I see, and I'm going to return that one, so I'll have to go back to the other guy to buy the ship, because I'm losing the ship then. Oh, yeah, so I, so I don't have to attack him. That's nice. Since I am uh, such a great guy and I helped him, I'll do it. You watch his empty eyes disappearing on your own ship at the horizon. What a strange fate this romantic skeleton suffers... But now it's time to pitch in and deliver the personal frigate to Her Majesty in the harbor. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I couldn't get on it. I was like, oh dear. So if I buy this guy's ship, we will have the ship to, uh, the magic her own, sure. Uh, how do I, oh, can I go through here, maybe? Let's see, I guess. There's an opening here. We do need to go search out here at some point, but. Yeah, wait a second. How do you get to the harbor? Does it look like it's blocked? Oh, wait a second. They don't really, frankly, have a harbor. How did he steal this? <laughs> uh, oops. Day is not journal. Report to Captain Renly that the ship has been returned. Oh, maybe I just have to go over and talk to him. Okay, well, we'll leave it here then. And it's getting a little late on today's video anyway, so I guess next time we'll figure out how to return this ship. And then, uh... Well, actually, maybe next time we'll clear this little island, since it looks like we don't really need to come over here again. And then we can go return the ship. And then we can explore uh, one of these other areas. And I just noticed that this does not connect through like the other two areas. Interesting. It's on the map. Oh, it doesn't connect to Marshawn Swamp. Interesting. And we can't get through that way to get to the swamp. Interesting. Huh. Well, we'll figure it all out next time. If you guys have, or probably, well, well a few number of videos in. If you get to the swamp is my guess, but if you have any thoughts or comments, let me know down below. And if you enjoyed that video, I hope to see you next time. Uh, if you enjoyed that video, hit the like button. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.